Hello, my name's Drew and I'm hated by antelopes for casting doubt on one of their beliefs. This is Caves of Kud again. I, I made a video recently about why Caves of Kud is great. Uh, but I think uh, a lot of the games I like to make like little introductory videos about are games that people bounce off because uh, they're a bit hard. So this is going to be how to survive like your first hour in Caves of Kud. Would. This isn't going to be like I'm. I've not read up on like the meta. I'm not meta game this at all. This is just stuff that's worked for me. There might be better ways. There are certainly other ways, but this is just what I've learned. What has worked for me? How to survive your first hour and get into the actual game. So let's do that. We're going to create a new character, right? So if you do, if you do what I do, you should be all right. As I say, there are other ways you can experiment. If, if that's what you want to do, that's fucking great. If you know this game better than me, you're not going to want to watch this because I might say a lot of things that are wrong. There might be better ways of doing everything. This is just stuff that works, has worked for me. Uh, so yeah, let's make a true kin and let's go agility. The reason we go agility for survivability early on is because essentially there's three ways to avoid or mitigate damage uh at least early on like with with basic stuff uh you've got health points how how just how much health you've got uh you've got armor value and you've got dodge value and the only one of those we can really control early on is dodge value because you're not going to have a lot of health at the start even if you put a ton of points into toughness you're not going to have a lot of health at the start armor value obviously depends on armor like it you get it from armor mainly so you need decent armor to have a lot of armor value so we can't really control that early on we need to wait until we find some good armor dodge value however is comes predominantly from agility so we can control that early on so we can get ourselves a lot of dodge value and we can avoid or dodge a lot of attacks so let's do that let's put as many points as we can into agility which takes us up to 24 now the rest so strength the um, affects how hard we hit uh, toughness affects how many hit points we have so we kind of want to spread the other two the rest of us points amongst those two skills uh willpower has an effect on uh health regeneration so that's potentially also useful uh but for now i just want to go strength and toughness and we've got 20 points remaining so i'll just put 10 in each uh That puts us plus four on uh, agility, plus two toughness, plus two strength. You can the other two you can rejig, you know, to taste, but like that'll do for me, right? Right, we'll choose a cast. I'm gonna choose as I did as I mentioned in the other video. I'm gonna go with the Surajkurigurugur. Again, you can have a look at these. These you can think of these kind of like this top one is kind of rogues. This middle one is kind of mages. It's not a magic world, but you know they use technology, like, techno mages or whatever you want to say. Um, but rogues, mages, warriors, kind of. That doesn't really 100% fit because this top one here, <laughs> they, they like growing things and cooking, right? That's not very roguey. But but they've got like poison resistance. They've got like uh, agility buffs. Um, in some cases, it's that's how I think of it, right? And this this one is the the series of guru is the really roguey one. The um, the dual wieldy uh, assassin agility buff character uh these ones give you like yeah you can use intelligent skills better uh, you can use equipment essentially technological equipment and these ones are the more sort of straight up strength based uh combatty tanky kind of whatever i mean who doesn't want to be a fuming godchild that's amazing what do they get yeah, I mean they get some cool stuff. They get some cool stuff, but we're gonna go. We're gonna go with the one that's just got the big agility boost. So let's let's choose that, and we're choosing night vision just for convenience. Again, there are other ones that are great, uh, like one that's is it this one? That's throwing. There's there's one that um, relates to uh, melee combat, which is pretty cool. But the night vision one is just it's such it makes the game so like. It's a convenience thing, and, and, and it's great early on. Until you get a floating glow sphere, it's, it's pretty great. So we'll choose night vision. And that's us. That's all we have to choose. Uh, I'm going to start in Joppa, 
and our name, what shall our name be? Our name will be Drewy Pops. Okay, so it's generating the world. Cool, cool. So the first thing we want to do, oh, and what you should always do is, so escape K and sort out your key bindings. Uh, much as I love this game and I really do adore it, the default key bindings, if you don't have a numpad, are really bad. Uh, and the laptop key bindings aren't great, in my opinion. So just go through and for all the stuff that matters, uh, use, I mean, I, I don't think I use that talk thing because you can use space for most, most things. So I don't think I specifically use talk. Uh, look, so you want use, you want look. Uh, get is important. Uh, open can be sometimes important. Uh, fire missile weapon, drone weapon, fairly important. So bind all those. Oh, and wait until healed or rest until healed. That one's, I use that one a lot. Uh, your, your informational screens, you can move between whatever you set in movement for new, move northwest and move northeast. You can move, you can use uh, for moving between all of these screens. So you don't need to map all of them if you don't want to. Uh, I don't map, I've never really done tinkering, so I've not mapped tinkering. I just get, get to it by, uh, by, in my case, Y and U, the north, northwest and northeast keys. Um, but yeah, just go, go through this and anything you think is important map it or map something when you want to use it and just have a comfortable a comfortable set of key bindings for you and obviously if you know you can't early on you're going to forget the keys a lot but just pop pop that open escape k and then use the cursor keys to or the scroll scrolling mouse wheel to look down these and you know look up the key right so that's the first tip uh okay we're in Joppa. first thing we want to do is get some quests so first of all we're going to go to this fella over here who's always over here and we're going to get his quest. So press space, press the direction he is in, which for me is B. I'm using HJKL for uh, left, down, up, and right. And I'm using Y and U for north, east, and northwest, all the way around. And BN for north, for southwest, and southeast. Uh, use whatever you like, obviously. If you've got a numpad, no big deal. Just use the numpad. So choose the direction B. Uh, I do the dot, dot, dot. Follow that through. Get this quest. Uh, and then I press Q to have a look at my quest, and we'll just need to find an artifact. Uh, he actually gives three quests that send you all to roughly the same place, so I'm I'm going to do all three in, in one go and then come back, and then we'll get a thing that teleports us back to Joppa whenever we want, which is a great, um, a great get-out-of-trouble thing. So that's what we're aiming for. So, so I'll go and get all the stuff and then turn in all three quests at once. And that's the plan. Now I go talk to this uh, trader, this dromad, who's like a, some kind of sapient, sentient cam camel thing, or dromedary, I guess, would be more, more, more accurate. So let's trade. Right, first of all, we're going to sell all these uh, torches, because we don't need them, because we've got night vision, so why not, right? Uh, we've got a co couple of water skins, that'll do us for now. We've got a little bit of food. So what you can do here is buy some ammo, just buy a bunch of arrows and get a, get a ranged weapon as early as possible. That's not a bad idea, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold off on that because we've not got a ton of uh, money at the moment. Uh, you can also have a look at if they've got anything worth taking. Uh, not really. So, okay, so to sell things, you just press uh, plus or minus to add it to the deal. Uh, or remove it from the deal. You use your movement keys to move between these two things. I think north, east key also works for adding things to a deal. And then when you're happy with the deal, you press O. Now in this, you can barter, so we can we can exchange things of like value, or uh, you can you can and, and you can make up the difference with water. So water is money, but you can also just exchange goods. Uh, so let's press O to confirm that. So we're going to get five drams of extra water, which is very little, but that's fine because we don't need those torches. Right, let's look at our gear. E, e for me, I'm really not sure what I've rebound and what I haven't, but for, for me, E takes me to the, um, the equipment screen, and we want to see what kind of weapons we've got. So we've got a short sword and a utility knife. That's fine for starting out. Uh, that asterisk there... What that means is this is my predominant hand. So I want to put my best weapon, this is my main attack. I want to put my best weapon in this hand. These are both the same effectively, so it doesn't really matter. 
Uh, but yeah, we're going to go dual wieldy, so that's all cool. Uh, do we, have any, we don't have any skill points, so it's time to venture out. So that quest is uh, find a knickknack and return to blah blah. Uh, the next quest would send us, let me just go to the map. So the next quest would send us to this area to get something specific, or, the, or perhaps the quest after that uh, would send us to this area. So we might as well go over there, get the thing, get the stuff we need for the third quest, and we'll also pick up the things we need for uh, the second and the first quest on the way. And yeah, let's do all that in one go. Uh, I always press escape to get out of that, and it's not. It's uh, it's it's treated as an up and down. I in my head, I'm just looking at the map. But you can travel on that map, so effectively I've gone upwards, and then you have to go downwards to get back in, which is fine. Uh, oh, I did want to. Have I got any artifacts? I didn't start with any artifacts. I think you, yeah, you definitely do sometimes, but we don't have any artifacts to look at. So okay, we're just going to head. So we just want to head straight uh, east, get east and west mixed up. That's why I pause so much when I'm trying to say east or west. They left or right. Uh, I'm going to move this a bit as well, this, this window. Uh, it's useful information, but I don't need that much of it. So let's resize that and put it down there. Okay, I've lost myself now. There I am. Okay, so until we see an enemy, we can just keep heading right. These things are all friendly with us, so no no reason to attack them. A lot of a lot of pressing L at the moment. Oh, there's some something happening down there. A little look. Yeah, I think it's just just dragonflies fighting something. Oh, a, a croc. Okay, crocs are pretty hard early on, so sort of glad that was taken care of. A little bit more cautious now because this is there we go. We start seeing Emily. So we press the look key. Uh, I've unlocked look, which I recommend doing. Locked locked look is quite annoying. So unlock look. Uh, that's a snap jaw scavenger. He is average, which means he's about he's about on a par with us in terms of fightiness. Uh, we've also got somebody up there as well. Who's that? Uh, Chromeling average is neutral, so we don't need to worry about him. He's not going to attack us. And there's a little fractured microtrip note, which is scrap, which is something we can sell. Uh, let's just hop over here. We're going a bit slow because oh, he's gone up there to fight the Chromeling, so we don't get to fight that one. A bunch of Chromelings up there, and one of them's a special named one by the look of him because he's pink. <laughs> Missing. Okay, is that an error, or is that like the game? Is that glitchiness in game, or is that glitchiness? Uh, error missing hex value <laughs> zero df four. Themed Barathonite Arcanaut. Okay, so that's somebody we can have a chat with. Let's go do that. We'll pick up that microchip stuff like that. You pick up automatically. You can adjust what you pick up automatically. There he is. Let's go chat with this pink fella. Uh, Let's do the water ritual. Oh, oil. Oh, okay. So these are robot fellas. I've got no oil, so I can't do the water ritual. Different creatures use different liquids for their water rituals, despite it being called a water ritual. Uh, see if they've got anything. Okay, so they've got a ton of uh, data disks. I don't actually know what these are. I assume you put them in the computers and learn things from them. I've, I've definitely used them. So I played this a way back uh, and got, you know, not far into the game, but a decent amount into the game, uh, and then not played it. And then I, I hit the edges of what the main story was at that point, and then I stopped playing for a while, and I've come back to it. So I've forgotten a lot. Uh, I've got a lot of scrap, so nothing I actually want. Uh, that's fine. We met. We met a cool. We met a cool character. Live and remain forever rustless. That's nice. I also noticed this bag. What's that? A water skin of honey. That's not enormously useful to us now, but I think I'm going to take it anyway. I want a, an apple. What's what they call star apples? Yeah. Okay, let's see if we can get into a fight because we do with leveling up a bit before we get much further. 
Okay, so there we've got there we've got we've got the brown one, which is the average one, and then we've got the uh the warlord who's a bit tougher, I think. I mean these both say average, but I think he's a bit tougher. Right, they're swimming. Um, yeah, when you're swimming, you're slower. I'm not sure what effect swimming has in, on combat, but we, we're going to do swimming combat. Because why not? Right, okay, we one hit him, so that's nice. I'm going to press, so there's a wake here. Um, in this situation, if I move towards him, because there's only a one tap, uh, a, one, a one tile gap, if I move towards him, I move first. So I'll move towards him, he'll hit me, and then I'll hit him. I don't want that. So what I'm going to do is wait and let him come to me so that I hit him first. I mean, this will depend on quickness, but in this case, that's how it goes. I'd be a little bit careful. Oh, the fish is helping us, which is good. We've got hit. Not ideal. Uh, and it tells us he's he's fine. It tells us down on this little panel here uh, he's he's fine, which it means he's been hit a little bit, but only a little bit. And we've been hit a little bit. So, yeah, we're sort of we're going toe-to-toe -to -toe here. Uh, he's still fine. He always hit me pretty bad. Okay, he's injured. He's wounded. Still wounded. He's badly wounded. So one more hit should kill him. There we go. Right. So now I'm going to... This is where Rest Until Healed comes in handy. Because so, I don't think there's anything else hostile around. And if there is, these dudes will probably attack it anyway. So I'm going to Rest Till Healed. That will stop if we spot an enemy anyway. It's not, we don't, we don't get stuck in that. So there we go, we've got a little bit of XP, which is nice. And towards that, that first level up. Uh, okay, we've got a bit more scrap there. And oh, there's some more scrap up there. Might as well get some money early on, see if we can, see if we can buy a good weapon near the start. And of course, you want to look in this chest. So just space and then a direction. Don't, if, you, if you're only close to one thing, you won't need the direction. Right, we'll take those steel arrows for sure. We'll take the bandage for sure. <coughs> I'm not going to bother picking up a lot of loot to sell. I think I'm just going to take the more expensive, lighter stuff. But we'll certainly take that salve inject. So that's a pretty decent chest. And we're going to get some more scrap. That's more of a... Let's get that as well. There we go. Right. I think that's that's that map pacified. So we keep going right. All right, we got more got more of these uh, slap jaws. So right. So early on, we've got to be really wary of these archers. You can see this little fella's carrying a bow. He's snap jaw hunter. He's got a bow, and that's a problem for us. So our high DV uh, makes us resist uh, or avoid melee attacks quite well, but I don't think that applies to ranged attacks. Uh, there's a thing we can get in the skills which will give us a higher chance of flinching away from ranged attacks, but we don't have that. So ranged attacks are a problem for us. So I, ideally, we want to be in a position where he can't see us. Uh, and then get close, which isn't great on this map because we've not got a lot of cover. You can see that we can see all the way to him. If we could get behind one of these trees, he wouldn't be able to see us and he'd have to approach us. But yeah, for now, uh, we'll just try and take out the non-ranged ones first. So oh, there's another ranged one up there who's shooting at us. Like, at this range, they're going to miss a lot. So if we just try and keep our distance and take, take these normal fellas out without being hit. So they're both they're both towards the north. So if we come south, okay, we got hit a little bit there. I fucked up a little bit, but that's fine. So now, so now I'm, I'm behind these trees from the point of view of these areas here. You can see that these are dark. I can't see past these trees, which means if they're they're in this area, they can't see me either. So that's good, good for us. Okay, so that archer you can see us there. So just keep moving sort of this way. Right, I'm just going to wait there a bit. I don't think there are a huge number of them other than the archer. So if I can let them... I'm pressing full stop, which is my wait button. I'm just, I'm just waiting and hoping that they're getting closer to me so that I can approach them more quickly. Okay. Look. I don't see either of them, so let's go see if we can find them. We've fully healed up now. 
Uh, it's actually night time now. My night vision's kicking in. Uh, I don't see either of them, so let's go have a look at this weapon. That's a bronze battle axe. Uh, when you walk over something, you can see what it is in your little information -y message box. Uh, I don't know where they went, but that's okay. They may have just been killed. Are these uh, blotches? Those blotches usually represent. Okay, yeah. So something died there for sure. Oh, I thought I saw. I thought I saw a beaded bracelet. Oh, I took the beaded bracelet automatically. Okay. Uh, beaded bracelets are trade goods that are worth you know a reasonable amount of money early on. Uh, let's have a look what that weapon is. Iron dagger. What have we got at the moment? We got steel, so iron's worse than that. So we'll leave that alone. Daggers are pretty light. I should probably pick those up for sale, but fuck it. Okay. So what we've got here, we've got again an archer, two archers. If you hold down alt, by the way, that will highlight enemies and useful things. I don't know what that thing is that it's highlighting. What was that? That's a shrine. Cool. Oh, a shrine in the shape of a spider. I didn't notice it was a spider. That's cool. So friendlies, enemies, so it's just as far as we can see on this, this is only what we can see, but as far as we can see on this map, there's two archers. Um, I'm going to try and just yeet them. Let's just yeet at this. Okay, there's one on the way. All right, we can kill him. And just yeet towards this dude. Okay, he gave up on shooting, which is good for us. Uh, so we'll take those arrows for sure. I'm not interested in that. I don't want the corpses, but I do want that short bow. So now we've got a ranged weapon too. Ha ha ha, I've got a machine gun. So I'll equip that there. That occupies both hands. There are one-handed ranged weapons and two-handed ranged weapons. A bow is obviously two-handed. So now we've got a ranged weapon. I'm not going to use that a great deal. That's that's my I'm I'm scared kind of weapon. Burn me melees. All right, uh, I've lost. Okay, so two archers down that way. Let's head that way. I assume because it's night, perhaps they can't see me, which is why I'm getting away with getting this close without being shot. Right, okay, we're pretty close now, so that's good. You're dead. Uh, bronze there, guys. There's nothing we want there. Okay, what have you got? Nothing. I'm really looking for arrows right now, but let's go have a look at this shrine. So space downwards and look at that shrine and we learn a bit of lore about uh, the ancient sultan Idokhut. Idokhut was captured by bandits. She murdered their leader by slaughtering his entire clan and was thenceforth known as Sword Skipper. Really cool. Yeah, there's a croc down there. I'm not sure whether can we take that can we take on okay the dragon prize are quite in it so oh he's dead. Whenever you're getting help from the wildlife, that's great, because you get the kill, get the XP without putting in the work. And that's, you know, that's the dream. A quick check. Ah, oh, there's a chest in the bottom right that I hadn't noticed, so good job I did that. Uh, torches, okay, so those are valuables. And more water skins is always good, up to a point. Water skins allow you to carry water, which is used for both survival and its money. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. A lot of red, but also some green with these fellas. Another another named fella. Cool. Oh, these are mechanists, I guess. Oh no, they're all kinds of different people. He wasn't hostile, was he? No. He's neutral. So I can go and have a chat with them, potentially trade with them. Right, so I'm I'm here. I've got water separating us from these dudes, so it'll take a while for these dudes to get up there. We've got the archer there. We've got a warrior there, though. He's a bit tougher. Uh, still says average, but he's he's definitely tougher than the, the standard ones. But let's head in this way. Uh, okay, for, so if I wait once, he'll come to me, kill him, and then attack this fella. So that when, when it does that little circle thing, that little kind of boof circle, that, that's when I'm dodging. 
So you can see that I'm dodging. I'm not being hit yet. He's had two attacks on me, and he's not hit me yet. So that's that's the value of this uh, this high DB. Okay, I have been hit now, but that's fine. We killed him. There we go. Leveled up. So we get five more hit points and seventy eight skill points, and that is cool. Is there anything worth taking there? Oh, there is a bandage. Let's take that. And anything there? Uh, no. And there. Painted iron mace. That would be worth more. Yeah, let's take that. That's all that. Okay. Now we can head this way. And help these mechanists in their fight. Or help them take the XP at least. Ooh. Did he have any arrows? He did not. Okay. So, like, obviously, looking at gear like oh, uh, looking at gear like that studded leather armor, that's got three AV, which would be great right there because I've got very low AV, but it's minus two to my dodge value, and I do not want that. I'm just I'm going max dodge value. Uh, what we got there? Bronze stack. These daggers are so light that I might as well take them and sell them. Is that what was that? The machine commands that you exercise robots and bring their sacred hulks here, husks here. What? Excuse me? Is that just what that mechanist was? All right, which one was the which one was the name, fella? Let's go and see if we can have a chat. Uh, He die the named one. There is only those three left, right? So yeah, that named one must have died. So his gear is going to be somewhere. That looks likely because there's like a bunch of books and stuff. I'm just looking around for like when a character like that dies, like obviously sad, sad that they died. Thoughts and prayers, but um. I want their stuff, so let's go get their stuff. Oh, are those are they fighting each other? There's like factions here fighting each other. I didn't realize that. I thought they were all pals. There he is. But somebody with some books has died, and like books are really valuable early on. So, so is he fighting? Uh, where am I? I've lost myself. There I am. Okay. Cast down your artifacts, you are not worthy of their make. Okay. Uh, I, I'm not sure whether these dudes are assholes or not, so I'm not sure whether I want to do the water ritual with them. What have they got, though? And nothing I particularly want right now. Let's do the water ritual, why not? So uh, that's who's that? That's that's me a good relationship with the uh, mechanimists, but made the antelopes and the villagers of somewhere dislike me. So uh, don't don't want anything else from them. Right, I want to get these books. So there's the book. We'll get to that. Anything there? There we go, another book. So, because this is like a, a, a play, a tutorial-y playthrough, I'm not going to spend time reading those books. Sometimes, if I'm in the mood, I'll sometimes just read the books and, you know, take, take a break, have a cup of tea, read the books. They're pretty cool sometimes. The, the more um, procedural ones are a bit gibberish a lot of the time, but that can be entertaining. Let's get this chest. Arrows, that's good. Weird artifact, great. And a copper nugget, that's money. That's all good. Right, so we just picked up the artifact, so let's go and... Oh, we've got two artifacts. So that one's... You can tell by the picture, that one's a grenade. 
Uh, let's examine this one. Small box. We made, <laughs> we made some progress understanding the box of crayons. That does count as an artifact. We can give that to what's his face to fill, fulfill, uh, fulfill that quest. That's cool. And then this one, which is some kind of grenade. Uh, X to examine. Uh, freeze grenade mark one. So that could be handy. Uh, and that's all cool. Right, there was another another baddie. Let's head towards them. There were no more chests, were there? Nope. Okay. I think I mentioned that that's, that's the alt key, right? Alt. Obviously, you can rebind it to whatever you like, but that's, that's handy for highlighting the important stuff on the map. That you can see. Worth bearing in mind, that you can see. If you can't see it, it won't appear on here. Uh, da, da, da. Okay. So, yeah, we're all good now. Let's keep going right. Check what that is. Uh, let's see what's there. Uh, wet bronze two-handed sword. They're worth the heavy, but they're worth a bit. So fuck it. Okay, let's check. Let's check the overview map. Where are we? So we're there. So we're we're getting towards where we want to go to these one of these three red blotches, or this is the place we're heading for. Um. Uh, yeah. So we're on the way. We need to keep going uh, right. Which is a bit of a problem because there's a big thing in the way. Uh, these things are annoying, but uh, they're reasonable XP early on. Just like kill them, get you know a chunk of XP. It's an easy kill. Uh, what do you have? Anything? Nope. Okay, so there's a bunch of enemies here, so I must stop being a little bit more cautious. Well, they are fighting the dragonflies, so that's good for us. Oh wait, are the dragonflies attacking us? They are. Well, that's no fun. Okay, so might be time to start worrying. So I guess a big tip early on, first of all, like if you're in a dungeon, use corridors so that only one enemy is coming to you at a time. That's like that's like roguelike 101. Um, face as few enemies as you can so that you know, you've got the least incoming damage. That doesn't really apply in an open field like this. In this game in particular, if, you, if you're scared enough that you just want to get out of there, press A. Again, any time I say press a key, I might have rebound that. I'm not sure. Press A and uh, it gets your, act uh, your active abilities or your abilities, and then start sprinting and just leg it. If you can get if you can get out of their vision and far enough away, then you can get safe and heal up. But I think we can deal with this. This might be famous last words, but I think we can deal with this. Or at least I'm going to wait for a couple more hits. I don't think there's any archers nearby. I don't know why these dragonflies are attacking me. Okay, he's dead. That's good. Okay, it's starting to get precarious. Yeah, okay. That's time to sprint. I, I don't want to go north because there's going to be more enemies there. I really want to go to that area we've cleared out. So you can see that um, my sprinters run out. I think you sprint for I think it's ten turns. So you just get more. You just get more speed, get more distance. And now my sprinters run out. So I, but I can. But obviously I've got the distance now, so uh, they can't attack me. So let's just get let's just get around this corner, and then wait until healed, and then come back refreshed. Oh, I moved the wrong way now. So that, so that dragonfly is friendly. I don't know why the dragonfly... Oh, no, it isn't. Oh, it's because it's flying, isn't it? I would need to use uh, a ranged attack to hit it while it's flying. So let's do that. Uh, usually, you're not going to ranged attack something right next to you, but to range attack, you press F. 
Uh, and then you choose your target, and that's already on the target, and then press space. So F, space, F, space. I'm going to miss a lot because I'm not good, at, not good at ranged. There we go. Uh, they are dead. So let's tuck into this little nook. When, when you want to rest until healed, like find, find a nearby position where as little as possible can see you. So I can only really, in this nook, I can only really be seen, you know, in this cone here, which is very little. So as, as long as nothing goes here, I, I can rest un, uninterrupted. Oh, I'm bleeding. Oh, that's not good. There we go. Okay, the bleeding, the bleeding stopped. Right, so we survived that, and we got we got some XP. That was the first sort of like precarious moment, though. They get, it could have been game over there. Uh, let's go see if there's anything good on any of these splodges. Uh, so all the dragonflies hostile with me. I don't know why that is. Is that because of a relationship thing that I've done, or human relationships are somewhat randomised? That's annoying though because they're flying, so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to use more ranged weapons than I uh, would like. Ooh. There we go. All got an attribute point. That's great. Uh, more more baddies down there. Who's a tortoise there? Tortoises are very hard to kill because like super high armor, as as you'd expect. But we'll go and actually, let's check what's hostile there. So the lizards are our friends, the uh, dragonfly is not our friend. So let's gang up on, but everything hates this turtle, or tortoise. So let's gang up on this tortoise and see if we can get some XP. See, I'm doing, oh, it's attacking me. Attack something else, you dick. Oh, did we kill it? We did, 125 XP for that. That's not bad. So these dragonflies, these dragonflies, when when they it's that flashing up arrow, that means they're flying. I think they will sometimes come down, and you can melee them. But yeah, they're very irritating. Well, I'm moving. Is he? Yeah. So he's, he's definitely hostile. So there we go. He's dead. Uh, I'm not going to bother resting and healing for that much health because that will just come back from moving around. Uh, up a bit of food so the kudzu stems will sometimes drop from those kudzus and those are those are foods so they're worth picking up and there's some is that like sap or something <clears throat> sugary salt so it's mixed with salt so no, i'm not really interested okay oh we can keep going east there so that's good fuck you wall plants a rust bog i don't know what that is but cool So yeah, as I say, these things, these, I don't know whether it's because of my high agility, but these things very rarely seem to hit me. And, you know, at this level, what are they giving me, like 10 XP each? Like, might as well, right? Yeah, oh, I don't like the dragonflies being hostile. That's that's a pain in the ass. The flying. How many arrows have I got left? Three arrows. Well, oh, sorry, I got five wooden arrows and and three steel. I should have I should have bought arrows in town. I think where possible, I'm probably just going to avoid fighting these dragonflies because they they are a pain. But these ones are going to reach me, so. Oh now that pig's on me, that's not good. Mm. Yeah, this is a real problem. I think it is a leg at time again. Oh, the dogs are hostile with me as well. Everything's hostile with me this game. That's kind of good in terms of getting XP, but... Okay, so just going to back off there a bit. 
Uh, I might stay on this map though and just circle around. Oh, they do move faster than me. Oh, I do not like fighting these things. We out of ammo. Got one. Got one wooden arrow left. Okay. Well, that was timely. And we're fighting a goddamn dog. Right, why do dogs hate me? Dogs. Dogs are 300. Why were those dogs attacking me? Hmm. Do not know, but let's heal up. Right, so yeah, those dragonflies I'm not going to be able to take with, without more ranged ammo. So ideally, I just want to avoid those. Uh, so okay, let's go south here, and I hope there's no dragonflies in that direction. Oh, there's still that pig. Okay, yeah, average. There we go. Killed a pig for twenty-five XP. Another rust bog or the same rust bog? Okay, so some of these dragonflies are hostile and some of them are not. Uh, that is strange. Okay, I'm just going to go back onto the previous map. Uh, because I do need to make a camp. I'm bound to shift C. I need to remember that. So shift C. So you can any anything on this screen you can bind to a key. Or a key binding, which I've done for make a camp. So let's make a camp. And then space and whip up a meal. Right. It's just because I noticed I was hungry, so might as well eat, right? Okay, I don't understand why some of these some of these dragonflies are hostile, some are not. But that one, yeah, that one's hostile. I'm gonna very quickly run out of my ammo. Which I've done, I think. Oh no, we've got steel arrow. Can I uh Okay, that's quickly going to become a problem. Oh, there's a, one of them things that which are quite tough. Yeah. Okay, that's actually going to be a tough fight. Uh, Amoeba's going to join in as well. Going to be annoying. Mm. Got a lot of XP, got 70k XP for that, that's cool, and we gained a level, which is great. Is that another angry dragonfly? I do not like them. I just ignore it. Oh, the dragonfly was not prone by something, so now I can melee it. Oh, something hit me hard though. Oh, I was not ready for that. Time to sprint. Ooh, can't do that while waiting. Mm. <laughs> Bye. Not the best place I could have sprinted to. Oh, they're all friendly. Mm. Okay. No. That amoeba is putting up quite the chase. Oh, and there's a tortoise. Okay, so. My sprint has run out, and so now if I run into something, I'm in trouble. Get behind these trees. Everything friendly up there? Yeah, cool. Uh, pig won't be friendly. I've got a reasonable amount of health back now, though, so... Pigs, pigs are fighting things by the look of it. If I stay there... There we go. Okay, that plant took care of that thing for us. Gonna hide and heal. Oh, well, okay, we've seen the pig, so keep waiting. Hide and heal. There we go. Okay, so we survived again. So, if anything, what 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 that demonstrates is the sprint. If you're in trouble, it looks like you could not even like you're going to lose. But if you could lose, this is a roguelike game. 
if you die, you lose every all your progress, right? Which I mean, I'm only like what? How long? How long have we been playing? Current session, uh, forty six minutes. So not the end of the world, but you know, in eight hours time, like that's going to matter. So when in doubt, leg it. There's, there's, there's plenty of other ways to go. Uh, so yeah, sprint. Sprint is a very is a very useful skill. So this this tutorial so far is just like sprint. That's useful, right? Uh, we do have some points to spend. <clears throat> I'm not really quite sure. Uh, I think I would like I would like to get my agility up to thirty. That's the point at which I, I mean it's a nice round number, right? Uh, and it's the point at which I feel like, you know, I'm dodging everything. So let's press space and take our agility up. And then let's have a look at our skills now. We've got 234 points there. So we've already got we've already got the dual wieldy stuff. So do I want to go into short blades maybe? Uh I don't have the 300 points for that yet, and I don't think all that's doing is taking us up from 55% chance to hit hit with our offhand weapon to 75% chance to hit with our offhand weapon, which, I mean, that's good, but our offhand weapon isn't doing that much damage at the moment, so I think other things would be more useful. What have we got in acrobatics? Uh, jump can be handy, but yeah, it's not so like early on. I just want the things that will aid either my well aid my survivability either by making me less likely to die or making me kill things quicker. Uh, that juke skill is pretty cool in a pinch, but uh, did I get that? I've needed seventy five for acrobatics plus that's two two five. Yeah, I could do that. I do. Oh, that's just straight up two to our DB. Hmm. And we would get ah, and that would give us the swift reflexes things, which lets us flinch away from missile attacks. So this, I think, this is the way to go. So we get acrobatics. So we get swift reflexes free. Uh, and then what was on spry, which is just a flat plus two to our DB. So let us take that. Uh, and that'll do for now. And now we've got a DB of 18, which is pretty cool. So my, my other character that's like at level 16, 17, something like that, they only currently have a DB of 20. Uh, and, you know, they're pretty, I mean, they've got more health than this, which helps. But so a DB of 18 at this level, that's pretty good. We should avoid most melee attacks with that. If fucking dragonflies weren't attacking us for unknown reasons. We obviously pissed off dragonflies at some point. And mop up, mop up the plants because three XP. Eventually, all down there that I missed. Where's that? Oh, something's already killed it, or we can't see it. No, nope, don't know where that went. So let's carry on to where we were going. So again, it's it's night time, so night vision's kicked in, so everything looks green, which I'm I'm not a fan of. Like the, the night vision is great, but I hate everything being green. So we'll get a we'll get a glowy followy thing as soon as we can. What we got here? All looks all looks friendly. Oh, he's not friendly. That's for sure. We can take him though, especially with the help of a lizard. So he's badly wounded. Uh, again, I'm looking here for that. You can see that on the look as well. I can look and see that he's he's badly wounded, he's hostile, and he's you know average. Uh, but it also tells you down here, which is handy. So one more hit and he should be dead. There we go. What did he have? Nothing useful. Really do with some uh, ammo, ideally. Okay, let's check the map. Okay, well that's we've we've been knocked a bit off course because of the shenanigans. But if we just go straight right now, we should get there. Uh, right, maybe a problem. Uh, might be good. 
So, yeah, this this area of the map is kind of like a canyon, so, you know, you want to go right, but, you know, you're going to get pushed north and south because of the uh, where the canyon will let you go. Uh, it does look like I can go south, though, which is better. Oh, I can just about go right. Let's see if we can actually... Yeah, sort of. Yep. That's a dead end. Wait, that's a dead end. We might have to turn back. Let's see what's north. I think right. Okay. That was that was a pipe dream. We'll go south. That's better. We can probably go right from here. Uh, all good. Okay, we got some snap jaws down there. Oh, we've got salt hopper as well. Uh, okay, let's just let that salt hopper come to us. Yeah, so I think these things are high agility as well because these things um, are hard to hit. So in this position, I'm getting, I'm going to get hit from both of these. So I'm going to take one turn to move back a bit. So I'm going to go, like, he'll still come round, but for a couple of turns, I'm only getting hit by him and not both of them. So I think that's worth doing. There we go. And we killed him, and then we killed him. So, yeah, we, we yeah, think about how many things can hit you and how can you reposition to avoid, you know, blah, blah. That's roguelike stuff. Roguelike things. I'm just going to manually wait here a little bit. Get my health up. And let's go. I've got an archer there. But you didn't arch, so that's good. Uh, white brim hat. Is that better than what we're wearing for sneak? Uh, it is, because we're wearing nothing, so we will take that white brim hat. And that's it. And did you have anything? Another cap, not interested really. So, okay, let's equip that wide brim hack. So, because of as another DV, we'll look at that What's all about. This filthy beaten hat was drawn low over countless wearers' eyes. That's cute. So agility feeds in both uh, feeds into your DV, your dodge value, your chance to avoid being hit. It also feeds into your chance to hit. So high, higher agility means more chance to hit, um, which is why I think those salt hoppers. I think they're just high agility creatures. So they're kind of they're built like us. They're built like at the moment, kind of like I would say glass cannon, but I'm more like a glass cushion. Um, yeah. So so. They can give out. They can. They've got a very high chance to hit and a very high chance to dodge, same as us. So, so that that can be a tough fight for us. Whereas, like the tortoises, uh, we get a very high chance to hit on them. Uh, they get a quite a low high chance to hit on us. They hit quite hard, but they've got a low chance to hit. But they've got very high armor. So we'll just be we'll like they. Probably not going to kill us, but we're just pummeling away against them because we, we, we're hitting them, but we're not getting through their armor. Uh, I should say this is what determines. Uh, so that six is what what armor level you can easily penetrate. Like if 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 their armor value is six, we we most rolls well. I think all rolls will get us through that armor. If their armor value is eight, we're relying on the dice rolls. Uh, I'm not quite sure how the dice rolls work, but I think that's 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 roughly how it works. And that's the damage. That's the armor penetration. So if you're fighting something with higher armor than your weapons, you're gonna be you, you're just gonna you're gonna be hitting a lot, or your hit roll succeeds, but you're doing no damage because you're not getting through your armor. But we don't worry about that. There's not a lot we can do about that really, other than get better weapons. So you know, just pummel away. As long as you don't die, you're good. Uh, horses are friendly, right? Yeah, good because they are, as it says, they're very tough. Those things are hard. You don't want to take them on at this level. He kind of snuck up on me. Uh, no arrows. Why have none of these archers got arrows? He's dropped some arrows there, so that's good. We pick them up. Uh, everything else is friendly there. So, yeah, we got 
some arrows. We've got four arrows. That's better than zero arrows. Anything there? Oh, I accidentally picked up a quartz. I do not want to do that because they are heavy. What we got there? Dog corpse. Uh, a dog corpse. Right. Things are attacking all more enemies. Uh, you didn't go down easy. Okay. Did you have arrows? You did not. God damn it! All these archers without arrows. What are they? What are they shooting at me? I mean, maybe that's why they don't have arrows, because they shot them all at me. It, it makes sense. Okay, so we're continuing our quest to that. I think it's the. I think that place is called the Rust Wells. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh! I've moved on the map. I don't like doing this. So you can travel on this map. I probably should have mentioned that. Uh, but I don't like doing that because you're, you I think you can get random encounter type things, or you can get lost. That's for sure. Uh, did not actually mean to do that. Uh, let's go there though, because I'm not sure where I was. Um, yeah, I meant to look rather than to travel. Uh, the reason, yeah, the reason I don't like moving around on this this map is it's good when, like, say you've say you've done all of this area and nothing nothing in this area is giving you XP anymore. Uh, then yeah, move move to like the extent of that on on this map. But when you're still like, if I if I just if I just use this sort of effectively like quick travel or map travel, uh, I'm missing out on XP. I'm going to be under level by the time I get to the place, and I'm just going to get killed, right? So to start off with, at least I don't like using that that kind of travel. Right? Uh, yeah. Okay. We got over there. What's hostile? The chameleons. And the plants. So let's go. Let's go plant up some plants. Something happening there. Birds are friendly. What died there? Bro. I think the fight's all over there, right? Okay, keep heading right. What was that? Oh, one of those spitting vines. They, they can hurt quite a lot at this point. Although that did miss me a lot, which was good. 25 XP for that. That is nice. Getting towards level 5. Okay, so the first two quests from that quest giver that I uh, went and spoke to in the village, he gave us one quest to get an artifact. Um, uh, the second quest is also get an artifact, but he tells us to go to this specific place to get it, which is just, you know, encouraging us to go out into the world. Uh, and then the third quest is obviously spoilers, so if you don't want spoilers for the first three quests, then uh, uh, close your ears now. Uh, the third quest is go to go and get some wire from that same place. So we're going to go and do all three of those things and then return. Yeah, dead pig. Fuck you, pig. Fuck the five All right. So we. Where are we? Where are we? Mapwood. Yeah, we're kind of on it. So what you can do when you know you're in the right place, but you can't find the specific place place within that area. Uh, you can you can travel back down into the map. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, travel back down into the map and choose center, and that will usually take you. The, the place place will be in the center. Uh, I've kind of lost my bearing, so I don't know which portion, which area of this area I'm in. That's um, yeah, not explaining that well. But uh, I'll wander around a bit because you know get a bit more XP before we uh, delve down. We, we know it's somewhere around there. There's a goat having a look at us. That's fine. Another goat up there. Not worried about goats. Goats are friends. Goat pals. Right, we'll have a look to the right, and then if it's not there, I'll have a look south. Oh, oh, oh. What was that? Or something move. Oh, just a chameleon. And then some bug things. Okay. 
more interested in something over there. Okay, I'm glad the dragonflies are on. So I thought all dragonflies in this game were hostile with me, and that would have been an absolute pain in the ass because, as I say, you know, I attack with them with melee when they're flying. I'm very relieved that that is not the case, or does not seem to be the case. Uh, where'd spiders go? Yeah, these spiders seem to like. I think I think different creatures have different kinds of AI. These things like going to the edges of things and just sort of hiding. Freeze grenade, why not? Some scrap. Just yeah, he's just eating it over there. We're not going to catch him. Oh, there we go. So there's some copper wire. This is the thing that we. Uh, that's the third quest: is get 200 feet of copper wire. So that was nice. Oh, more over there. And more over there. Well, these are all 50 feet thingies. And then there's the, there's the entrance into the place where we do the thing. So that's perfect. Uh, that's 10 feet, 10 feet. So we've got, what we got? We've got 126, I believe, feet, maybe. And we need 200, so we're getting there. And we've not even got good weapons yet. Well, we've got steel. Steel isn't bad. The next, the next one up from that is carbide, which is... Uh, carbide will get you through, like, you know, a fair chunk of the game. Oh, we're so close to leveling up. Go kill these plants. We're going to fight something. I'd rather fight a plant. Oh yeah, so they do, the, the downside to fighting these kudzu things is they do rust your gear. They've got a chance of rusting your gear. Um, at the moment, we don't care about any of our gear enough for that to matter. There we go. Uh, five, four, four hit points, five, level five, four hit points, 78 skill points. That's pretty cool. So now let's venture into, uh, I've kind of forgotten where it was over here, wasn't it? So press the down. So I think the default. Um, this is the same in most roguelikes. You go upstairs is um, angle bracket left. You go downstairs is angle bracket right. So you hit angle bracket right. <coughs> Excuse me. And we go down there. All right. So this is a more traditional roguelikey dungeon. So let's see what's what. More plants, which is good. Easy XP. So there's the stairs down already. So we might as well go explore the rest. Right, so this is where roguelike tactics come into effect. So if I'm standing here, uh, if I was standing, if I was standing here, I can be attacked by two things. If I'm standing here, I can only be at from this direction. At least I can only be attacked by one thing. They've got a queue up to attack me, which is good for me. So, and you know, that's the case in both directions here. I'm just gonna wait for things to come to me and then kill them. Is it? Early game, even though those enemies are they're not very tough, uh, if you've got five of them attacking you, or or heaven forfend eight of them attacking you, they will fuck you up. And if you've got eight of them attacking you, you're surrounded, and you're going to find it hard to sprint without killing one of them. So yeah. Lim limit how how many things can hit you at once. That's that's a I mean that's not a caves of cool tip. That's just a roguelike tip. Is that why I'm unfriendly? It is. XP, that was a lot of XP for that. Uh, so that is an unfriendly plant, but that, that thing doesn't actually have an attack, I don't think. What that, that, that thing will do is, if we, if we get too close to it or it gets bothered by us, it will scare us and we will run away randomly. Uh, there's also things in the game called Young Ivories, which uh, at least I don't think you can see on the map, but like you just what they are is spike plants that just come out of the ground and spike you and hurt you and make you bleed which is all terrible. Um, and if sometimes you get a room full of these scary plants and the spiky plants that you can't see that spike you, so they'll make you run around randomly, triggering all the uh, young ivories, and then you just get spiked to death, and that's game over. That is, of all the ways I've died in this game, that one is the most frustrating, because there wasn't really, as far as I know, there's no way to tell they're there, so there's nothing I could have done about that. That is deeply frustrating. So be, be, be wary of that. So if you see a room full of these things, I'd say just don't go in there. 
Uh, right, we can do with making camp and eating. There we go, we have eaten. Any loot worth having over here? My dragon. Oh, bandage. Get the bandage. We've already got the bandage. Cool. Anything there? Anything there? All right, let's keep looking around. Uh, uh, there's a toolkit there. I'll have that. I'm not a tinkerer, so not a huge amount of use to me, but okay. Might come in handy in a million hours' time. But yeah, I'm just gonna just gonna explore this uh, dungeon. Uh, we don't want to go too far down into this dungeon because we are not that strong yet. We just want to explore until we have uh, the wire. The wrong key. Another spitty plant. Okay, glad we've got that dodge projectiles thing because getting hit by those is, well, it hurts. Plant over there. Oh, I've not been there yet. Okay. Not a lot of wire. Oh, there we go. Say so not a lot of wire, and we get some wire, so that's cool. Uh, I think we're close to having enough. We might maybe be able to do this on the first floor. We can obviously come back here later and explore it uh, more deeply, and that's certainly worth doing. You know, more more levels, more more things. Let's take that. How, how close are we to our inventory? So that's our carry limit. We've, we've not got a lot. I might as well start loading up. So I've got some stuff to sell. That's our money slash water. Yeah, so I might, I might loot, loot a bit more aggressively because we will be returning home fairly soon. I say home, Joppa. Joppa is home. It's like Balmora in uh, Morrowind. Where's that plant? Over there. Uh, yeah. Oh, also worth noting that if 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 I need to get from here, this is just another basic roguelike thing. If I need to get from here to here, it is less turns for me to do that diagonally. Like the shortest distance between blah is is, is blah, uh, and because this is a grid rather than hex based, you you. you we're actually gaining more ground by going diagonally. So where possible, move diagonally. I'm not I'm not great at that myself, but you know, worth bearing in mind. Uh, uh, uh. Well, it's a different kind of scary plant. That actually hurt us a little bit, but I think we're okay here. We don't need to heal up for that. There we go. That plant just scared us and made us run around randomly a little bit. Okay, I think that's the whole place explored, right? The stairs were over the left somewhere, right? I think. Uh, worth noticing, if, if, if you press... I talked about the, the upstairs, downstairs keys. If I press the... Um, Downstairs key now, it'll say walk to the nearest stairway down, and I can say yes, and it will just go there. Um, let's check how much wire we've got. Oh, I thought we got, I think I've been double counting a bit. I thought we got more than that, so we've got 113. I really thought we had more than that. That's sad. So we need another 100 ish, 70, 80 something. I don't want to do. Right, let's go down. Okay, what is that? Spock tick. That's tough. Mm, okay, let it come to us. Hit it. Oui, that is tough. Yeah, we did kill it though. But it does quite badly, but these these things are weak, so that's not a problem. Uh, what we got there? Uh, nothing of whatever. Uh, that's light. Let's take that. I'm not quite sure what the relative worth of things are, but you know, pick things up that might be valuable. 
get that wire. Get a wafer. One Archie boy. Uh, 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 let's start taking some bronze daggers. Take that. Why not? Take a bow. Starting to think about things to sell now. Why have none of them got arrows though? That is that is some bullshit. One of the spark tick. Uh, take that. Uh, why not? Oh, that, that fella died. What did he drop? Anything good? Oh, I just picked the corpse because he had nothing on him. Slimy human corpse. I don't want to be carrying that. Uh, control D drops, by the way, in your inventory. That's a quick way of dropping. I just, uh, I think this floor. Once we're done on this floor. Uh, we should have enough wire to uh, go back and do those quests and get ourselves a teleporter, which is very, very handy. That's like when your sprint doesn't work and you're scared and you just want to get the hell out of there because everything wants to kill you, you can just teleport back to Joppa. Okay, I think we might have enough wire there. Uh, one hundred? No, not quite. One more. One more fifty spool would do us. I was a little bit careless there, but it's fine. We're, we're okay at the moment. Oh, that one's only three feet. Easy, guys. Okay, these crabs, they're kind of a bit, bit like the tortoises, but they hit a lot harder. So they got very high armor, so we find these things hard to deal with because we're not a high penetration. But yeah, see, that's hit us once already and done us quite a lot of uh, damage. So this is one of those fights where I want to take it a little bit slower and just keep my eye on my health. Okay, he is wounded. He's badly wounded. Okay, we should be right. okay, we level up. We get one, one, one to each attribute, which is great. Uh, what's in that chest? Oh, a carbide? Oh, battle axe. Mm. If that was a one-handed weapon, that would have been great. That would have been a really good find. Like a carbide weapon this early is really nice. But we'll take these water skins and those coppery things and what whatnots. Okay, is that a nice amount of copper? No, it isn't. That's very annoying. Uh, 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 uh. Might need to go down another floor, which is a good problem. So if we explore this whole floor, let's just check my inventory. Uh, 150 and then 10 and then lots of threes. So that's like 169, 12, 160, 15. So we need like 25. So we will need to go down another floor, which makes me sad because like the further down you go, the scarier it gets. I'm just gonna roll a cigarette to cope with that fear. Listen to the ambient sounds. I mean, not on the video, like in in your world. Okay. Ooh, cool, it's all pretty. 
Let's take iron mace. What, how are we doing for weight? We're fine. Okay. Uh, steel short sword. That'll be worth a bit. And canteen. That's nice. Yeah, the wire. That's another 51, so I think that's done. But let's explore the rest of this uh, level of the dungeon. Well, I, should, I think we can sell what we don't thingy. Oh, the beetle friendly. I was trying to attack the beetle there. Yeah, that's good. He hasn't hit us yet. We've not hit him a lot yet either. So, the, yeah, similar to the... Um, uh, actually, no, it's not similar to the uh, Salt Hopper. This is more like he's got high AV and we've got high DV. So he's missing us and we're failing to penetrate. Although, I hit him and got him there in one hit. So that was cool. Cool. Okay, this is where I want to back off and only be hit by one thing. We got hit there. But we're doing okay. There we go. Right, I'm just going to back off so I can't be seen from either of those rooms easily. And uh, just heal up there. We've got a weird artifact. Nice. Let's examine that. Uh, a bronze dagger. Oh, a nulling bronze dagger. So, what is that? I don't know what that is. All trinket. Does that, does that mean that? Hmm. I've not seen anything like that before. Uh, I've got nulling. When powered, so, okay, so it needs, so it's powered by a trinket, I assume? When powered, this weapon astrally burdens its target on hit. Compute power on the, the local lattice in, increases the effectiveness of this effect. Sorry, what? Okay. So I put a computer inside? Okay. Well, cool. Might keep hold of that. Might sell it. These things can hit us, they can hurt us, but actually, yeah, this, I think this thing, if a fight went very poorly, this thing could kill us, but it would take a few hits, I think. Both of us, like, failing, failing to hurt each other. We've got strategies that cancel each other out. Why, why not? Or why are not? Myself. Okay, we're ripping through this uh, wire there. Yep, cool. You're a friendly little bug, aren't you? Yep, little little bug friend. Okay, so that is a that is a young ivory right there. That one's already popped, so that one can't hurt us. That's fine, but yeah, you can just you just walk onto a tile. One of those things pops out into you, does you a ton of damage, like this much damage, probably this much at this level, and um, and then it gives you bleed as well, which is nice. Absolute assholes. Uh, but they work on enemies as well, like it's a roguelike, so everything's systemic. If if an enemy walks over that, uh, it will fuck up the enemy too, which is great. I love them when they do that. I just don't like them when they hit me. Oh, what was that? What was, what? Oh, it's this planet shooting at me. I was a bit confused there. Crash. Hmm. 
Yeah, with the night vision on in particular, like those, because everything's green anyway, you, those plants don't stand out so much. Uh, a little bit hot spot sometimes. Right, I think we're done there. So let's press the find the downy stairsy uh, key. Actually, let's make count first because we're hungry again. Nice meal. Oh, we got we got one extra toughness this day, which is nice. But yeah, you can see that our, our armor value is one, which is you know, needless to say, quite low. But our dodge value is 19, which is great. Uh, yeah, okay, so down he stairs the arrow. Uh, down he stairs the arrow again. Oh no, I want up he stairs you, don't I? Uh oh. Okay, so yeah, this lower level. That, yeah, I'll just, I, I pressed the wrong one, I meant upstairs. Uh, but let's have a look around, because what we've got here is, yeah, a, a, a slumberling. Um, until you can do more damage. See, this is impossible. Given that I'm actually quite, okay, this thing could kill me in one hit. But if I got lucky with my dodge, because this thing would find me quite hard to hit. Um, if I got lucky with my dodge, I could possibly kill this thing and probably get an entire level's worth of XP. But this is a roguelike, and that is incredibly fucking risky. So I'm not going to do that right now, especially not with it. If it was only that, I might think about it. I would hit it ranged a bit, see if I can weaken it, and then give it a pop. But yeah, no, not right now with all this other stuff going on. So let's uh, retreat and do the uppy stairs key, which is what I meant to do in the first place, because we're done here for now. You do not want to go to the scary, the scary, scary part of that dungeon yet. If we get, some, if we could get some carbide weapons and some better armor, we can certainly think about coming back. For now, let's head back home, back to Joppa, which should be pretty much due due left. A nice peaceful map. That's nice. Uh, did I see a bear or was that a goat? Uh, so given that I'm sort of traveling back through places that I've already cleared out, I could just use the map to travel back. But what would be smarter is veer a little bit off, go to slightly different maps, and, you know, kill stuff on the way. Uh, but I seem to be going back exactly the same way. So, Hello, horsies. Pop. Okay, that's, that's new, though, by the look of it. Might as well get some XP on the way. Okay, this is all new. Right, okay, pigs. Me and you. Oh, did not mean to press that direction. Oh, I've got to kill that pig. There's another dungeon there. We don't want to do that right now. We want to get back to town and turn in, turn in our things. You see what I mean about this tortoise is I'm just like, I'm not penetrating his armor. Doing like one damage every now and then. But eventually he will die. Because he's having a very hard time hitting us at all. There you go, he hit us there and he did like, what, two damage. So I can, I can take quite a bit of a punishment from it. There we go, eventually. A decent amount of XP. What else we got to fight? There was a tortoise over to the left I saw. And I'm pretty sure he'll still be alive by the time we get there. Oh, Salt Hopper to the south-ish. And a tougher boar, so we might need to be a little bit careful here, but okay, right now we can just wade in. <laughs> Everything's ganging up on this fucking tortoise. <laughs> Fuck you, tortoise. Everybody hates tortoises. <laughs> so harsh, there's everything attacking it. There we go. Uh, right, the salt hopper is only hostile to us, so. There we go. Oh, that's a nice chunk of XP. Cool, cool. Might get another. See, this is this is why you know don't fast travel. Walk, walk back on the way home, and you know you get an extra level on the way back. At this point, at least, where I'm, you know, I'm still getting decent XP from killing these things. Later on, those things will give me, you know, very little XP, and it won't be worth it. Okay, that's. That'd be an issue. Hmm. 
these things are already 12 now when we are what are we yeah in the thousands of xp realm so might not be worth killing those plants anymore but you know every little every little else and all that that's a sort hopper over there that gives another that probably levels up actually if we can get there before the dragonflies finish him we didn't and that dragonfly that dragonfly leveled up or keep from killing that uh full topper which is pretty cool so the dragonfly a normal dragonfly would be uh oh no they're average as well but yeah that, that dragonfly just leveled up which is cool congratulations awesome Graf graffiti when a wall's a different color it means it's got graffiti on it and the graffiti says a journey into the molecular energy called something cool 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 Oh, did I end up looking at that? I remember seeing a, uh, a Sultan statue. Did I actually? Oh, I did look at it. I remember, yeah. Okay, we found a ruin. Again, I'm not going to get sidetracked right now. Uh, yeah, so this is definitely a ruin. You can see it's got specially walls. <coughs> Excuse me. Chrome, chrome tends to mean high techy stuff. The, the fallen civilization stuff is here. Uh, we've got like magical, magical lighting things that don't use fire. What's all that about? Crazy, crazy talk. So yeah, this is some kind of like complex that we could go into. There'll be a staircase down somewhere, but for now, I don't want to get this right. We're heading to Ibiza. Okay, so that's a different part of a map we have been to the other half of, which is kind of cool. Just see where we are map-wise. We're getting there. We want to go a bit north as well, so that's that's fine. If we can go north here. Nope. Okay, so a bit dead ended there. Uh, worth noting that any any walls in the game are destructible. We could, if we had sufficient like weaponry, tunnel our way through there. If we had something that could do that much damage, I do not have anything that can do that much damage. <coughs> oh, that's a problem. Oh wow. Okay. So yeah, these uh, chitinous pumas. As it says, are tough. They hit fucking hard. Those things could kill us. We've also got a bunch of gnus. Now the gnus are friends. So if the gnus are hostile to these pumas, they might come and help us out. But three of those, we are not going to survive that. One of those would be a problem. Three of those is like we're dead. So let's see what the gnus do. See if they start moving down as we attack. Does not look like it. Yeah, see, th those things can hit us. Uh, push it a bit. Back off a bit. Okay, yeah. I thought maybe that Snapjaw would attack them, but no. Everything's attacking us there. So, it is leg it time. That is not something we want to tangle with. Uh, I want to get out of that view as quickly as possible. Uh, that did that lead anywhere? No, but it sort of helps us to escape, maybe. Rock in the way that way. Yeah, we're actually in, got problems here. Because that is a dead end. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. What have we got? Got four arrows. Do we have any? We've got a couple of freeze grenades.
Uh, all right, I had it. Bye. Yeah. Mess it up a little bit, but it did equip. So yeah, we got thrown. What can we throw? I don't really use uh, throwing things a great deal. Hmm. Can we hide? We we did hide. Little peak, they're still there. Hmm. There are only two of them though. Two of them might be possible. Oh, I think maybe can they not see us from this range because we've got the night vision? But I don't think there's any way around them. Maybe I can just aggro one of them. Yeah, okay. Let's pull him in. I've got four arrows, so let him get a little bit closer and then start shooting. Oh, I need to reload. Annoying. Uh penetrate okay we did hit it though yeah we're not doing any damage with these arrows okay got any ammo no ammo okay so that did nothing at all now we try a grenade do it not the quick the freeze grenade is badly rusted okay I assume that was bad. Hmm. Well, that went well. All right. We're going to have to try and win this fight. Or is it frozen? Oh, I think it might be frozen. Hey, let's hit it while it's frozen. Even, okay, now it's hitting us back. We only got it down to injured. Yeah, that's, that thing's better at hitting us than we are at hitting it. Okay, we might just, we might win this. Uh, oh god, maybe not. We need one more hit on it. Come on, there we go. Okay, we leveled up. Awesome. Okay. This is a bit precarious. Right, let's go. Mm. Got any attribute points? No. My skill points. We do have a lot of uh, skill points though, so is it time to get that or do you want something better than that? I think actually some of the sword stuff, some of the short blade stuff, oh, I just want to done that. So for free, we, well, for, for the 50 points we would get plus one to hit with short blades. Uh, you make primary hand attacks with short blades if your quickness were 25% higher. That's pretty good. And we can get a bleeding effect. So I think I'm going to go for that. I do want jab. When you wield a short blade in your offhand, you make offhand attacks twice as often. This bonus applies to organic hands, not robotic again. Okay. Oh. 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 That. So, do I want a thing that adds bleeding, or do I want it more often with my offhand? Even though I'm not doing a ton of damage with my weapon, like my weapon numbers aren't that high yet, I think I'll go with the bleeding. Okay. Oh, I can get that as well. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Let's do that. Right. We're a bit, we're a bit stronger. I don't think we've got any grenades we can use because that grenade was rusted. Fungicide grenades, which probably kills fungus, that's not used to us. Uh, also, I think these are only two artifacts now, so I need those to give to uh, what's his face, which is fine, right? Okay, we're just gonna have to try and straight up take this fight. I've got no ammo, have I? I've got, I've got gun ammo, I've got oh, just one, but one bullet, but no gun. Okay, he's seen us so. I don't want to reveal ourselves to anything else that might be over there. Oh, he's done a dash thing. Okay, right. So this is just a straight up fight. If worst comes to worst, I will use my uh, injecty thing to get some health back. Okay. If my health gets to about halfway, I'll start to worry. Okay, I think. Yeah, it could be okay. Okay, that was good. 300 XP. That's nice. 
Okay, I think there was one more though, wasn't there? Uh, a lot of stuff died there. Oh, it's a named GNU. Let's have a chat with him. There you go. Where'd the pink GNU go? A lot of GNUs there. I, got, I lost the pink one. Is it? Has he become bloody? So he's no longer like areas. Okay. This is gonna. This is gonna be hard. I've got to keep my eye on him. Where'd he go? Is that him? No, that's just a normal game. You know, it's like that game where you move the cards around. Okay. Right. Uh, I like GNU's. Let's do Water Ritual with GNU. We increased our relationship with uh, antelopes. Uh, but be because they are disliked by whatever that is. Mollusks. Mollusks. We lost relationship with mollusks. Who hated us anyway, so that's fine. I didn't mean to end that. Let's, uh... Where's the water ritual? Oh, we don't know any secrets to tell him, which is sad. We could have told him some secrets, and then we could have asked him to share a secret with us, or join me. If I, if I had a lot of relationship, I could ask him to join me, which would be great. You got anything to try? He's got, he's got one copper nugget, which is sweet. Uh, and he does have some money, uh, which is impressive. So let's take advantage of that. And sell some of this stuff. The stuff that's heavy. Got 110. I think I will sell that. I'm unlikely to use that. So well, let's sell the heavy, heavy stuff. Does that go up to 43? So sell some of this stuff as well. Goes up to 54. And I want to keep the box grains because that is an artifact. So a couple nuggets though, 111. So, yep, cool. Okay. Now he's got a ton of stuff, and I've got a ton of water. Cool, cool, cool. Right. We're still heading home. It's all salt hopper. Nice. Dead. Okay. We get that tortoise though, or chameleon, or both. Pummeling, it's just pummeling a rock. Okay. Uh, I'm dazed. Okay. Get health back just in case. If there's any more of those humours around here, we could have issues. Uh, I think I'm done with going out of my way for those plants. If I'm passing one, I'll attack it, but... Ooh. Cool. That's gonna be a dead end though, isn't it? Yep, okay. I meant navigational issues. Uh, when I'm trying to go down here, it's telling me, ouch, the way is blocked by some shale, which means that's like a wall on the next map, which means I can't move down there. Okay, let's forget that. Go north. Not worried about these fellas anymore. Oh, might as well collect this stuff. Well, I'm going to get to the point where I've got too much water and I can't carry it. Although I should, um, I should actually, if I find a chest, so there's some semi-empty buildings back in town, and you can put chests in them and just store stuff in there, which is pretty cool. Uh, we're getting way off track here. I might actually resort to overland travel because we can always come back here and do some grinding if that's what I want to do uh, later. 
Uh, so yeah, let's just let's let's head home. And first of all, trade away anything that we picked up that we don't want. Right, so I want that. Uh, I don't want these things. Not worth very much anyway. All the books, because they're worth a bit. Keep those grenades. Actually, the rusty grenade is no use to us. And oh, that, oh, the fact that it's no use to us, actually, we can give it to the other fella. Come back and sell the rest of that wire later. We were using the bow. Uh, I think that's it. Okay, so we get a little bit of water for that. Actually, let's have a look. Does he have any good weapons? No, he doesn't. So, as I say, at the moment I'm looking for carbide short blades. And he doesn't have any any of those. So, that's fine. So, let's go turn in these quests. Pet the cat. Where the cat go? Oh, well. I talk to him. Here is your knickknack. Oh, we can't we can't give him the box of crayons. Hmm. The rustic grenade because that's the least useful to us. Okay, we accepted another quest. Get another knickknack, which we have. I'll just give him that grenade. Uh, that's not what I meant to do. Here's your knickknack. Oh, to just give myself. Oh, I meant to give him the fungicide injector. I gave him a self injector instead, but uh, the fungicide grenade doesn't matter. That's fine. Uh, so the next quest, he's going to tell us to go and get some copper wire. Okay. So now we've got the Joppa recoiler, which is a teleporter. Right. So we've done the first request. We might as well get the next quest. Obviously, if you're playing this, you want to read this because it's cool. Right, so the next quest tells us to go to Gritgate, which is actually quite a way away. So you're not going to want to do that immediately. You want to go to, you're going to want to like explore around, level up a bit more before you do that. Uh, there's also this fella here, this yellow farmer. Uh, you're going to want to get a quest off him. So there we go, we've got that quest. Right, let's just go sell the rest of that wire. I think that stays. Uh, where did these things come from? Okay, no, it's all, all the wire disappeared, so that's fine. Uh, I don't want that box of cranes though, that's no use to us. Oh yeah, we've given the droid scrambler as part of that quest that we just picked up. We don't want to sell that. Oh, that's wrong button. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. So he's giving us a little bit of money. There's carbide arrows there. I think that's new. How much money have we got? Yeah, he's got no good weapons. Right. So, yeah, we've just picked up this chopper recoiler. recoiler. Now, this needs a battery. Uh, and we don't currently have a battery. I was hoping we'll get lucky and one of the artifacts we picked up would turn out to be a battery. But we don't have a battery. So we can't power that thing. But when we can power that thing, we will activate it. And that will teleport us. Oh, wait. That did work. Hmm. Have they changed, have they changed this game? So... Hmm. Previously, that needed a battery. And there is the option to... So, is that powered by a small trinket? Oh, that's because I don't know what that is yet, maybe? Oh, I'm, I'm going to have to... Uh, place cell. Remove the cell. So, okay, yeah. So, we've got a small trinket, which, if we examine it, will probably turn out to be a battery, as so long as we don't break it. Yeah, okay, so that's a chem cell. So we do, it did come powered. 
I don't think it always does. I'm pretty sure it didn't last time. So let's put the battery back in now that we know that the battery is a battery. Uh, we've also used a charge on it, so it's not got many charges left. We'll, we'll find other batteries later, but essentially that's a way of getting out of trouble, getting back to Joppa quickly. So, I mean, that, that's that's about it. I think that's that's how to survive your first... I mean, it was supposed to be like an hour, but what am I doing? What keys am I pressing? Where am I? Okay. Yep. Supposed to be how, how to survive your first hour. I don't know how long that was. It's probably like eight hours or something. Okay, 106 minutes. That's fine. So... There you go. There's how to get going in Caves of Hood. Um, it's a good game. You should play it. Goodbye.